Hi, babes. How are you guys doing today? Okay, I come to you with another mukbang. I know it's been a minute since I made a video. Um, today we're having Taco Bell Nacho Party Pack. It's not going to stay up like this, y'all. I got to fix my camera because it's crooked. It's not going to stay up like this. It's just like this now so you guys can see it. Happy New Year to everyone. I know it's been a minute since I made a video. Okay, so I'm going to say grace. I'm going to start eating and I'm going to take this down so I can eat. Lord Jesus, thank you for this food that we're about to receive in your name. I pray, amen. Okay, so I'm going to take this down now. Um, I know some of y'all probably been trying to figure out where I've been. Y'all, I had to take a... I had to take a break for a while. Um, I had some things that were going on in my life. That I wasn't too fond of, too happy with, things like that. Um, and I wasn't focused on. I wasn't focused on my channel like I needed to be. Um, and I do apologize for going like that, which I know. Some of you probably going to be like, girl, you ain't got to apologize. Sometimes you got to take a break to yourself and do what you need to do to make sure you're okay. And that's pretty much basically what I needed to do, y'all. I just needed a break. It was just a... Mm. You know what I'm going to y'all this? It was just a lot going on. That... Um... Mm. Mm. I also had a strawberry freeze from my drink, but now I am better, and we are going to get back on track with these videos. But I did miss y'all. I did. I missed y'all. I seen um Bill of Life she had this put a hoop bug on this. And I'll see and say, I gotta get it. I'm gonna do a video because I haven't done one in so long. Starting out, what's going on? Y'all, I'm hungry, so I might not talk that much. And then y'all probably like, You been going all this on me? You got nothing to say? Excuse me. Archie. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Can I write that, please? I'm getting ready for work. Okay. I don't remember 
if I ever had a strawberry by itself, but dang, we already. Y'all, this video going by fast, but it's good. This video going by real fast. Brain freeze. Mm -hmm. oh, I hate those. I do. I really do. I hate those. Y'all know what? I know I don't want to talk to y'all about. Because I haven't really seen too many people talk about I have, but I want to get my input on it. I was watching, um, I think in that A.O. Trav, Trav, I think that's his name, y'all know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I watch one of his videos. And he was talking about the R. Kelly situation. Man, look, let me tell y'all something. Hmm. Watching his documentary, it's crazy because it's like, somebody cursing or terrible. I'm sorry y'all heard it. No. Watching his documentary, it's crazy because you would never know If so many people didn't say it, nobody would ever believe that this man who made all this good music couldn't read or write. And it's like, that's crazy. You sitting up here abusing women and doing all these things to these women and y'all behind can't read or write. I'm like, I never knew that. I am not. I'm trying to see some of those women The one to me that stood out the most was Dominique. She Dominique stood out the most to me. I don't know because she was a current girlfriend or what it was, but <clears throat> she stood out the most. She stood out the most to me. 
Marston her face. It was like You know how they say you can't look at somebody and tell when something wrong with them? No. When I seen her face, it looked like she was traumatized. Like it looked like he really screwed her up. I'm not saying that all the other girls didn't look like he screwed them up as well, but her, it looked it like he screwed her up. Uh. It did. And I just feel so bad for her. I do. My heart really goes out to her. I don't understand why men think that it's okay to treat women that way. Why it's okay to do the things that they do to women. Some people so <clears throat> like in the documentary they were saying about black women, black women, black women. Y'all gotta understand. It ain't just about black women, it's black. It's, it's not just about black women, it's about all women in general. Black, white, Mexican, Puerto Rican. It doesn't matter. All women get treated unfair by a man. They do. Whether they're in a relationship, they at work. Um, they're at home with their fathers, even, even, even when girls get mistreated by their own parents, that's just something that goes on in the world that a lot of people don't pay attention to. I'm scared to eat. I ain't gonna lie y'all. I'm scared to eat they, they guacamole because it don't look all that appetizing. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Y'all look. Uh, excuse me. See that? It don't look all that appetizing. Let me see. That's too much. Nope. Nope. Mm-mm. So I'm gonna be eating that guacamole. <coughs> Look. <coughs> Let me tell you something. I love guacamole. But if your guacamole don't look right, or it don't look the way I, I need it to look for me to be able to eat it, I'm not gonna eat it. I don't say this before. I am very picky when it comes to my food. And if it don't look right, I'm not gonna eat it. I'm not. So I don't know how I'm about to. I don't know. I guess I just ain't gonna eat the part where the guacamole at. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. But what I was saying, yeah. So every day is women out here that's getting abused. It ain't just R. Kelly that's abusing women. It's men everywhere abusing women. But those stories would never be heard. Those stories would never be seen. Because like his victims, these these women could be scared to come or do something about their situation because they feel like if they do, they might be way worse than the women that R. Kelly abused. They might actually do have an abuser who actually is psycho and might try to kill them or probably have tried to kill them. So to keep their life <laughs> so to keep they so to keep them from being killed. They just rather not come forth. They just rather not talk about it. They just rather try to hide it or deal with it. But even those victims, it still doesn't make sense. It's 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 people that can save you. It's people that can help you with that type of abuse. If you're dealing with somebody, if you can escape from that person, all you need is one time to get away. If you can escape from that person, then I say escape and get to someone that can help you legally legally and protect you. I say get to law enforcement <coughs> if you can and get the, the protection that you need. Because I've seen stories where women have gotten a relationship with these men and they started out okay and everything was good and then all of a sudden he just got abusive and then they've tried to run away and they've tried to get away from that person as far as even going legal and getting a restraining order and um doing all this stuff doing all of that to, to protect them but the only reason why they were just able to get a restraining order because the person who kept trying to um harm them at the time wasn't doing any harm to them they just kept stalking them or kept breaking into their cars and houses and stuff so they were just only able to get a restraining order but if you got somebody who's doing all of that in they're they're physically harming you you have enough to get that person arrested and not only get a restraining order you have enough where they probably could possibly like put you into some type of protective custody or something like that you never know what all your a lot of people really don't know what all their rights is when it comes to certain things but if that's something you're going through i think that's something that you should look look into <coughs> I think that's something you should look into. Because what you don't want is if you have kids and your kids come home to find mommy dead, that's not going to be good for those kids. That's something that they're going to be traumatized for the rest of their life. And if you don't do it for yourself, do it for your children. It's unfortunately, it's unfortunately that men don't see how important a woman is in their life. And it's unfortunate that men don't understand how important it is to have a woman in your life or in their life. I'm sorry. Y'all ain't got no napkins or nothing. I'm getting full, y'all. Look, I don't eat a lot. That side, of course. I'm getting full. And in this video, I'm about to get ready to actually cut it. So, you have to... um. So, I'm telling you, do what you need to do to get out of that situation. Because it's not going to be good. I understand that, you know, they may say, well, I don't know how to get out of it. If, <clears throat> if you're, if you're not in any great danger to the point where if you leave, like if you, if you, what I mean by the great danger, meaning 
If you feel like you're leaving, that person's going to come after you and kill you, then you need to find another way to get out. Don't just pack your stuff and leave. Especially if they know what all your family members say. Don't just pack your stuff and leave. You need to do as what they call a... Um, oh, I forgot the name of the bird. Where they actually just start taking little small steps, little bit by little bit, and then gradually start to move. Like, for instance... Let's say um, your first step is you um, go and get outside help and you explain to these people, look, this is what's going on and I need to know how to do this so I can get away. Okay, that's the first step of, of getting help. And then after that, you know, after they help you do what all you can do, um, then the next step may be if, if it's possible and you're able to, then you might go and get you a... Um, a small place or something like that and then just start taking it's basically like you take a twig away from the nest you're basically taking small steps from the nest until one day when you really feel like you're comfortable enough to just pack up and leave but if you if you don't feel comfortable enough like i know what i'm trying to say but i'm probably not saying it right but if you don't feel safe and you don't feel comfortable enough with leaving your situation that you're in there are people that can help you with with that whole thing like don't don't just stay somewhere if you feel like your life is in danger because like i said there's some people that do take it that far where they actually will try to harm you and try to kill you and won't think twice about it and then after you dead and gone the only thing they can say is i was just mad and i'm sorry and please forgive me and what want to try i don't got full I am. I'm sorry, and please forgive me and all that. But I'm sorry is not gonna bring that person back that you that they kill. I'm sorry is not gonna help that person that you abuse. I'm sorry is not gonna make that person feel secure enough where they know that hey, this person that once tried to kill me said that they're sorry, so they're not gonna do it again. No, like if you if you're in that type of relationship, please seek help don't stay do not stay please seek help don't let nobody make you feel like you have to stay somewhere or you have to do something never make nobody feel like that's what you have to do whatever you willing to do i'm sorry y'all uh, whatever you i've heard something if it's if you're staying by choice then that's different if you're staying because that's what you want to do then that's different if you're staying because your whole reason to stand is on your on your own reasons that's different but if somebody is forcing you to stay somewhere you do not want to be leave find a way to leave don't stay in that because your mental is your mental health is just as good as your physical health And believe it or not, your mental health can really affect you to the point where you may actually harm your physical health. So, y'all just remember that, what I said. I'm finna get ready to end this video. Finna get ready to end this video. Y'all just remember that, what I said. He, they, watching his documentary opened a lot, opened my eyes a lot with a lot of things that are going on in the world but these these are things that are actually happening right now in real life even as i make this video somebody somewhere is getting abused by their husband boyfriends um daddies cousins somebody somewhere is getting abused right now and it's crazy because like i said we'll never hear those story stories we'll never know that these people are going through this because they're scared to come forth so if you know anybody that's dealing with this and they can find in you and you know that they're in trouble, then you need to help them get help. You need to help them get help. So with that being said, um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Also hit the post notification bell, let you know every time I drop a brand new video. I do miss you guys so, 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 so much. And this will not be the last video that I'm going to drop. So with that being said, I will see you later with a brand new vi video. Bye, babe.